Welcome to the Real View podcast, where Ohio realtors connect you to innovators and influencers, keeping you with the real view of real estate. Whether you're a broker, agent, first time home buyer, industry leader, or just happen to stumble upon our podcast today, you can expect to hear tips, tools, tricks, interesting information, and so much more from the experts in Ohio's real estate game. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Real View Podcast. I'm your host, Allison Wiley. Today is a big episode. We have a major announcement that some of you may already have heard. Some of you might be hearing this for the first time, but it is a pretty big deal. So we have today's entire podcast episode to tell you about the newest, latest, and coolest member benefit that's available, just came out. We just signed on to do this, and we're so excited to offer this to you guys. And what it is, is Ohio Realtors Health Insurance through through Ohio Realtors. We're going to get into what that means, what it is in just a minute, but we know how important this is to you guys, and we know that it's something you've brought up to us numerous times that this has been a concern um, in your day-to-day life, in your work life. There's not a really great health insurance option out there for you guys, but we've been through lots of of research. I know our president, John Mangus, has made this one of his top priorities for the year of 2022. And we're so happy to finally be able to offer this to you guys. So just a little background on on that and the importance of what we're going to be talking about today. And I have joining me for today's episode to talk about this wonderful benefit that's offered to you guys is Kevin Dunn. He is the CEO of Decisely, as well as an Ohio native and a big fan of the Buckeyes. We were getting zoomed uh, zoomed in uh, to the call here today and his little background while he was joining Zoom uh, was the Ohio State Athletic logo. So he is one of our own. Uh, We always love to have on Ohio natives and and people who are near and dear to the Buckeyes. So Kevin, welcome onto the show. Thanks for being here today. Great. No, thank you, Allison. It's a privilege and uh, it's good to be back in Ohio. And so as you said, as I'm, I'm I was born in Greenville, Ohio and uh, grew up there and through high school. And so it's good to be back in the Buckeye State and, you know, and Ohio State. It's the one. Not trying to alienate all the other colleges, it, but there always has to be a number one. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, well, thanks so much for joining me today. We're so I'm so excited to have you on and, and letting our members know about this wonderful new benefit. And our members might have heard you did address some of our membership base uh, at our winter conference, but there's so much more to get into than what we talked on at winter conference. So... Let's break it down. Let's start with the basics. What is this option that's available to Ohio Realtors? How have other uh, state associations worked with it? I know, you know, we're not kind of the first to be um, signing on with you all. So give us a little bit of background information and knowledge on what this product is. Sure. The uniqueness around this product is, is that it is for individual insurance. And so think of it is that it's for sole proprietors, which are, you know, whether they're a 1099 sole proprietor, but they have to have a tax ID. And so what that does is that it allows you in to come to the website, which is actually ohrehealth.com. And you put in your tax ID number as well as some unique information of, you know, like your gender, your address, et cetera. And also that uh, your, your nerd number as well. And that allows you into the system in which then that you can answer a few questions and ultimately get insurance products that are typically, and they're ranging anywhere from 10% to 40% lower in premiums than what you'd receive in the individual market that uh, most go to in an exchange market today. Like I mentioned, we aren't the first realtor uh, association to sign on with you, all. I know you have some partnerships with different associations throughout the country. Tell us a little bit about those offerings that you offer to them. Is it very similar to what we're going to get here at Ohio Realtors? <laughs> Yes, it is very similar. And, and in fact, the, the same except for you know, each individual, individual state as well as zip code and, and, those, and your individual preferences will you know, determine your premiums ultimately. But it's fundamentally the same type of program. We run this program for Georgia, for North Carolina, South Dakota, North Dakota, and, and, and others. And you know, what we found, though, the tremendous part of it is actually the savings. And in Georgia, you know, especially is that it's it's the program that's been running the longest. We're happy to say in the renewal process for 2022, we've seen we've had testimonials come back that you know people saving twelve thousand to sixteen thousand dollars a year in just their premiums alone. 
which is, you know, that's that's an incredible amount. And the reason that it, that it's there is because this program looks at you as the individual and how healthy you are and what you do to make yourself healthy. And that allows you to basically be better off than to be put into this large pool, you know, a state exchange in which they, you may be subsidizing those that are less healthy at the end of the day. And so the program itself is that, you know, is that not everyone qualifies for it. It does look for those that are, you know, that are healthy and, you know, that's what the questions are for. But the good side of that is, is that 90% of those that answer the questions qualify for the program. So it's not a big deselection process is that, you know, a lot of people qualify for the program and which makes it, you know, very unique in that aspect. Yeah. And that's definitely not, you know, a deterrent if, if individuals listening to this, you know, that brings up any concerns for them apply anyway, you know, as you mentioned, like 90% get in. And is that something that you would recommend, you know, if any individuals have concerns that just go ahead and apply anyway and see? Absolutely. Absolutely. The the system. So what you're really asking, I sound like a commercial that everybody will be familiar with, but the reality is, is that give us 15 minutes and you'll see what your savings are is that it literally takes 15 minutes at most to do the entire process from actually coming into the site, giving the information, answering the health questions, and then actually securing and paying for your premiums going forward. So really it's only 10 minutes, you know, and 10 minutes is well worth the possibility of saving thousands of dollars in the year. Absolutely. And is that how an applicant can save by kind of running through that process or is there other ways they can save? So they save by, you know, they'll save on the premium side by going through the process itself. The other way that this program is very unique is that it doesn't have it. It's, it's a typical, it has a PPO plan associated to it. So the largest national network is called PCHS. That's a part of this system, but you're also allowed to go to any doctor. And what makes this unique is, is that you never pay up front. You always basically go get your service done and you show them your card. And then what we do is, is that we negotiate on all the bills that come through there. And, you know, and we use, most people don't know, is there's a national database is that Medicare has set plans for, you know, what it costs ultimately. And it's a Medicare plus type of deal where, you know, the individual provider, you know, will always get better than Medicare, but might not necessarily always be charging you a reasonable price. And so we will negotiate those. And so where the additional savings comes in beyond premium is that most people have high deductible plans. And, you know, and this program is similar as where there's a 2,300 there, I'm sorry, 2,500, a 5,000 or a $10,000 deductible that you can choose from the 2,500 and 5,000 are HSA qualified. So you can get a health savings account established for it. But even when you are getting in your deductible, most health insurance companies is that you pay whatever the doctor has said that you pay and it comes out of your pocket. We negotiate those as well. And so we try to also reduce how much you pay with respect to your deductible plan as well. And so the program is totally around making sure that the savings is there for you as the constituent and you as the self-insured person that you would be. Yeah, that's awesome. Are there any other cost saving strategies that you all have there? Or is it basically what you just uh, mentioned? Yeah, I mean, fundamentally, the plan itself is that you're coming in and you're self insuring yourself at the end of the day. But what we do is we take all of these self insured plans and we aggregate them. And so collective sourcing becomes an issue because if you look at a program itself, is that, you know, we'll talk about 2020 and the plan itself is that, you know, of all the plans that were in there, 6% of the plans drove all the costs associated to it. And so, you know, what you're doing basically now is, is that you may have a year at which that you never meet your deductible or you don't even go to the doctor and incur any costs. Well, there may be another year in which that you have, you know, something that happens and you have to have a surgery, et cetera, you know, is that you're sharing the cost amongst all the people themselves. And so it makes it so that the premiums stay, stay relatively flat throughout the year versus other programs where they just kind of swing up and down. We're, we're happy to say is that, you know, this year uh, there was no premium increase from 2020 to 2021. I'm sorry, 2021 to 2022. I still can't get used to being in 2022. It's so weird. It's, I wrote it. I like actually wrote it out on a check the other day, and it was the first time physically writing it out. I'm like, oh, I don't like this. This is so weird. <laughs> yes, <Yeah. laughs> very much so. Very much so. So we're 
So we're happy to say is that, you know, that is keeping the premiums, you know, more of a steady plan. And this is really the only program that I can think of in which that not only do you, that if when there is surplus, in other words, that the claims don't outweigh the premiums, the plan gets to decide what they want to do with that is that they can keep premiums flat, they can reduce premiums, and they can potentially even give money back at the end of the year based upon those things. And so it's it's really giving more flexibility and allowing us as consumers of healthcare to take control of what we're responsible for. And is that what you mean by that saying, the power of the group? I know that's kind of a phrase I've, I've heard when learning more about what you guys offer and everything. Is that what you mean by that phrase? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, we talk a lot about the power of the collective. It's kind of like how, you know, we as a collective to can change you know, diversity, can change equality. We can change our own healthcare. I mean, healthcare costs you know are dramatically increasing year over year because we as individuals aren't responsible for it. Is that we have kind of yielded it over to insurance companies and to doctors and others to manage it for us. Well, it's simply they're not doing a good enough job. And we as individuals can now, in this type of plan, start to take control over our own destiny and help pushing the cost curve down from a healthcare perspective. Yeah. And especially not for people that do the work that we do as independent contractors. I mean, it's so hard when you're not having you know, the backing of an organization to help push those plans forward. So it's so important that this has been able to be offered for Ohio Realtors because we know how much that's needed for independent contractors. You kind of talked a little bit about what plans are available. Are there any other plans out out there or share with our listeners kind of what that they can expect for choosing you all as their provider. Yeah. So, so on the medical side is that, you know, as you stated this, is that, you know, there's a PPO network that you can join with PCHS. There's also is that they're inside the system as well. You can also look at it. There's a navigation system to look to see whether your doctor is already a part of the system. And if not, it doesn't matter because ultimately we will negotiate the bill itself. And then we're also looking at including dental vision and some other products later on this year. And so we'll start, you know, offering more of a comprehensive solution that's outside of medical that also gives you the power of we, which, you know, is the collective sourcing capability. This episode of The Real View is brought to you by the Ohio Association of Community Colleges. Ohio's network of community colleges provides accessible training that accommodates the busy lifestyles of aspiring real estate professionals at half the price of a traditional university. With convenient locations in every part of the state, as well as online options, Ohio's community colleges are your smart choice for pre-licensing education. For more details or to start the journey to a real estate career, visit the education page at ohiorealtors.org and then click on the pre-licensed course locations. I think that's super important, you know, to mention because I know when I've switched insurances before, it's always that bit of anxiety of, no, no, I really like my doctor. Am I going to have to find a new one? So that's great to know, you know, if there's anyone out there with those same kind of concerns or worries that you will be able to probably go to the same doctors and we'll make it work for you, which is awesome. And I know now it's so hard to get into doctor's offices. I mean, there's still the backlog from COVID and many places are not accepting new patients. So it's really great to hear that our members will be able to hopefully keep their same healthcare providers, which is really, really yeah. exciting. And you bring up something very important, which is that, you know, there, there are many doctors that are behind and, you know, and as part of this, that, you know, there is, there is a telehealth solution. that's still a part of this, that everyone is getting more comfortable with as our lives have changed dramatically for that. There is a mental health aspect to this as well. And so you have coverage from that as well. And so there's other perks that allow you to, you know, to still stay remote and to get in, you know, quicker than a doctor's office. Yeah, that's really great. I know I've utilized my healthcare or telehealth multiple times just for small things, you know, to get some antibiotics. Hey, I'm not feeling great. You know, it's really great. So the fact that they have that option there is really great to hear. What can our members expect when they go to apply? So what you can expect is that the first thing you'll do is when you go to the website is that on the right hand corner, it'll, it'll ask you for some demographic information. And so all this is, you know, it is protected information in which it's your address, you know, male, female type of questions and your age they'll ask you for. 
And then once you get past that is, is that there will be a series of questions. It's about 10 to 12 questions that will ask you some personal information with respect to your healthcare. And so as an example, as it may ask you, as, you know, have you uh, been diagnosed with cancer over the last five years? You know, and yes or no types of answers, and which may be, you know, considered knockout questions that may make it so that you can't actually be a part of it. But there will be those types of questions. And then once you get through that phase of it, then it'll show you all of the, it'll show you that you qualify and will show you the prices from a premium perspective for you as well as your dependents, because you can include your dependents on this as well. And you could even find yourself that the system will tell you is that a particular dependent may not be, may not be permitted to come in. Well, you could also choose to take that dependent out use the regular exchange market for them, but cover everyone else and, you know, which can also still end up being premium savings at the end of the day. Once you do that, you can choose a plan. And once you choose a plan, then you simply have to put in your ACH information, your payment information, and then a series of documents will come back in which you sign and you're done is that that's as easy as it is. You can enroll up to the 15th of every month. And when you enroll up to the 15th, that will qualify you to start your premiums and to start your coverage on the first day of the following month. So you can do this at any time. A a logical question is, is that I've already have insurance through the exchange. And so I think that's a contract I already have in place. Well, there is no contract associated to our insurance or anybody's insurance. The reality is you can cancel insurance at the end of any month at your discretion. And so you can always jump out of the exchange and start saving in this program, you know, in any given month. And, you know, it's just typically it is, you know, there is an annual renewal period that happens in December of every year and you go through that type of process, but you can leave your insurance program and jump into another one at any point in time. Yeah, that's all some really great points there. I want to make sure we highlight. So you can apply this to other dependents. So other family members will be able to access this as well. I think that's great uh, news to hear. And then you can enroll those dates again, you know, the 15th um, of that month. And then you get in the insurance, you know, on the first, as Kevin said. So, you know, if you guys are listening to this, depending on what day of the month it is, you might be able to, you know, hop online and and get your coverage switched over here just a few weeks, which is really awesome and, and really great to hear. I know with our realtors, are so crazy busy and a lot of things going on. So really great to know that they could do that in such a short time frame there. So it's exciting to hear. Mm-hmm. And I'd say something else, Allison, is, is that um, the, the experience is e-commerce driven. So you can do everything online if you want to. But during that process, if you want to talk to a live agent, you can chat. Uh, that's available. There's also a telephone number in which you can call in and, you know, and have that personal phone call. Uh, conversations. So there is, you know, customer service aspect associated to all of this. So don't feel like if you're in the middle of the process, you have a question, click the chat button or give us a call. We'll be happy to talk to them and walk them through. And I know you have really great customer service too, for kind of other things like claims or things that our members may be working through. Is that the case as well, that there's a really strong customer team there to support them through that as well? That is correct. That is correct. You know, between us and our partners that we've partnered with is that, you know, if you, once you have a plan, if you end up receiving a balanced bill, you know, all you have to do is pick up the phone and say, here it is, or send it into the center and they will take care of those things for you. That's what they're there for. That's great to hear. I mean, this all sounds so wonderful. And I have to ask, is is there a catch? Why haven't we been able to do this uh, before? What's the catch with this? It sounds all so wonderful and so great for our members. There are certain things that we've been trained for in life is the way, the way I'll say it is. And we always think that there's a catch. There is no catch. Is that The reality is, is this is something that we've been working on with our partner, Vault, that she, that's a partner of ours in the captive uh, insurance business is what it's called, captive insurance. And we've been working on the self-insured program for years. And and you know, and have went through the process with the Department of Insurance and other places to make sure that this is you know absolutely above par compliant. So it's compliant to the ACA. Um, it's just taken us a number of years to create this, and now we're you know, and now we're in full marketing and sales mode and delivering that customer service side of it. And so it is something that's very unique that people will say, you know, hey, what's the catch to it? There's nothing. It's it started. It's just taken years to evolve to, you know, this collective sourcing capability around individuals themselves, which, you know, sole proprietors in the realtor world, as well as many other business segments is that it is, uh, it is alive and well, and we like to work for ourselves and we should be able to buy healthcare like that as well. 
Yeah, absolutely. It's definitely something that's kind of crazy if you think about it, that there's still not a better solution out there, you know, for for our independent contractors. And now there is. We're so excited to have it. Tell us a little bit, you know, about the success that some other associations have had with it. Have they seen good moment numbers? Are they finding, you know, a lot of good t- that our members are taking advantage of the, ser- of the service? Yes, yes, we're see, we're seeing great claims. Um, that's a specific what most people worry about is is that you know so how are the claims side of this is that the, the claims are not outweighing any types of costs so we we're good there in this particular program too is is that you know we take the premiums those are applied towards the claims but we also have reinsurance on this and so you know we have a, a global carrier that uh, takes the reinsurance side so that if claims ever were over what the premiums are, they actually take the risk associated to that and they pay those claims. So it's nothing that, you know, at the end of the year that you're not asked for some big bill either is that that's all taken care of. So everything's working from that perspective. It's not one of those programs is what, you know, build it and they will come, you know, is that it takes word of mouth. It takes a lot of effort to market and sell these types of products and to, you know, and to educate them. Because, you know, as you pointed out, Allison, is that, you know, people say, huh, what's the catch here? They need people need reassurance. We need conversations to do that. And so so I would say also is that, you know, from an offer perspective, is, is that as the, you know, as the Ohio Realtors, AEs, et cetera, may want local conversations, we are happy to to do that. We can have webinars with the uh, local facilities and have conversations one-on-one with individuals, you know, or with a group of individuals to articulate and explain this more. And I'm happy to, you know, to always, you know, make that available to the Ohio Realtors and their constituents. Yeah, that's really great to hear. And I know our members are going to have questions about this. So really exciting to know you guys are there to to help our local associations as well. And two, I want our members to know that, you know, we Ohio Realtors knew this was a top priority, but we've, you know, really looked into this and we've done our homework. We've done our due diligence to make sure the product that we're offering to you guys is top notch. So I want our members to understand, you know, this isn't something that we just found and we're like, yeah, it sounds great. You know, let's let's sign on. It's taken months of conversations. And I know, you know, we started having having these initial conversations, you know, back in the summertime. So this has really been, you know, months in the making and we've thoroughly vetted and made sure that this is a top notch product that's coming to you guys. So we want you to be confident in that as well um, as your state association that we're providing you the best we can for you. And I think, you know, that's, that's what we found here with you guys, Kevin, any last bits of knowledge, advice, anything else our members need to know before we wrap up here today? Uh, no, I think Gia, yeah, we've we've already kind of covered the the primary aspects, which is you know the website again is o h r e health.com. And so I, so I know it's hard to say OH with not screaming I O, yes. <laughs> but it is R E for real estate. <laughs> there you go. Uh, so that, that's the primary is that's where it's available. And, you know, and again, is that, you know, there's chat functions, there's cell phone numbers, et cetera, for us. And, you know, and, and Allison, you know, again, is I'm, I'm, you know, excited about working with Ohio and, you know, and being back at home and, uh, you know, look forward to talking to, uh, you know, to more individuals about this and, you know, happy to do webinars and, conversations any day of the week. Yeah, and we're happy to here at your state level to answer any questions you guys have. Go to the website Kevin mentioned. We also have it on ohiorealtors.org. It's all over our homepage right now. You can uh, find out more information about it. We will have webinars posted and recorded, hopefully by the time this episode comes out. Those will be available too for you all to watch back that really breaks it down even more with some visuals and some slides for you all to really understand You know what your options are with this. So lots of information out there. Take some time to look at it, review it. Reach out to us if you have any questions. You know, this product is here for you all. We want it to be a tool for you all and hopefully a solution to your healthcare needs that we know is so tough as independent contractors. So, Kevin, thank you so much for having, for being on the podcast with me today. Thank you for offering this great product uh, that we're now able to offer to our realtors. We're so excited about this partnership and and maybe we'll have you on again. You know, you never know. <laughs> Happy to do so. Happy to do so. And thank you guys for everything you've done. And yeah, we're, we're looking forward to it. Let's all save some money. Yes, yes, yes. And get great health care at the same time, right? Those two things can exist. <laughs> they do. They do. <laughs> and to all of our listeners, thank you guys for tuning in. Like, like we said, if you have any more questions about any of this information, reach out to us. Uh, we are happy to answer all your questions. We will talk to you guys next time. Thanks. Thank you for listening to The Real View. That wraps up today's episode. You can keep up with the latest on the podcast at ohiorealtors.org slash The Real View and on Apple or Google Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen. Have questions, comments, or suggestions? We want to hear from you. 
email us at podcast at ohiorealtors.org. We'll see you next time. This has been a Humble Pod production.